Legendary actor Paul Newman, who rose to fame in the 50s starring in Somebody Up There Likes Me and Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, was famously married to the Oscar-winning actress Joanne Woodward, one of the stars of Hollywood's Golden Age. The 10-time Oscar nominee was in a high-profile power couple with Joanne for half a century. However, he had been married before to Jackie Witt with whom he had three children, and his biography suggests that there was some crossover between his two partners for which he said he felt eternally guilty. Paul and Joanne's partnership became such an institution that it is often forgotten that the philanthropist had been married before. According to Sean Levy's 2009 biography Paul Newman, A Life, Paul chose to remain private about the details of his former partnership but said, I was probably too immature to make a success of my first marriage. What happened to us during that period is nobody's business. However, he said that he had been guilty as hell, adding, I'll carry it with me for the rest of my life. Paul was just 24 and a U.S. Navy veteran when he married the then 19-year-old Jackie in 1949. The pair were married for almost a decade, having two daughters and a son, who tragically died in 1978 from a drug overdose. Although he was said to have been happily married, he was taken by Joanne, who he met when they were understudies in the Broadway play Picnic in 1953. Mr. Levy writes that Paul initially said, she was modern and independent, whereas I was shy and a bit conservative. It took me a long time to persuade her that I wasn't as dull as I looked. Joanne was said to have only seen Paul as a pretty face when they first met, and she was not impressed by his acting. Tensions grew at home between Paul and Jackie as he began spending more and more time working in Manhattan, New York, in a world that no longer interested his wife. A friend explained, when she had her children, Jackie lost her interest in acting and in the world that meant everything to Paul. Paul and Joanne were two highly attractive people with a deep mutual interest and an obvious feeling of companionship, but you seldom saw Jackie. Their friendship soon developed into an affair, Mr. Levy explained, and Jackie is said to have grown suspicious of her husband. Joanne once recalled, Paul and I were good friends before we were lovers. We really liked each other. We could talk to each other, we could tell each other anything without fear of ridicule or rejection. There was trust. He struggled to ask for a divorce, describing himself as a failure as an adulterer to screenwriter Stuart Stern. Eventually, he found the courage, and after he and Joanne starred in the 1958 film, The Long, Hot Summer, the pair married the following year. From then on he was known for his fidelity, famously stating, I have steak at home. Why should I go out for a hamburger? Don't miss. Paul asks if murderers should have to attend sentencing in court. Poll, teachers urge to consider their students and accept pay offer. Report, whom the use of era tip to tear SNP apart. Insight, but his memoir, The Extraordinary Life of an Ordinary Man, published posthumously last year, suggests he felt deep betrayal. He wrote that the couple had their problems, adding, this hasn't all been a bed of roses. Their daughter, Clea Newman Suderlund, told the BBC last year that while there might have been moments of difficulty, they worked hard on their relationship with her father, who was suffering on, holding on until his wife was by his side. She said, oh, there was tension. I'm sure it wasn't a cakewalk being married to him. But I think the impressive thing is that they worked really hard to stay together.
I give them a lot of credit that they did manage to get through a lot of really hard times and come out on the other end stronger and better. My father wouldn't take his last breath until my mother was holding him.